Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build a tab feature. I'm starting by creating a profile. Let's apply some dimensions. This side will be 30 millimeters. And this side will be 40 millimeters. Exit the sketch. Activate the face tool. My profile is already pre selected. Let's click OK. Here's my primary plate. Now let's change the thickness of our part to 1 millimeter. Let's open up the Style and Standard Editor. And let's change our thickness to 1 millimeter. Click Save. Let's expand the sheet metal unfold. Select Default K Factor. Here our K Factor value is 0.44. We're going to be using this in just a minute. Let's click Done. And then cancel out of the sheet metal defaults window. Let's create a sketch. First activate the line tool. We'll place a horizontal line about here. Now let's put a point somewhere about here. Let's apply dimensions now. The line will be 10 millimeters from this edge. OK. And this point will be 10 millimeters from the edge as well. OK. Let's add a coincident relation between the point and this line. And let's place a rectangle about here. Let's dimension it with 10 millimeters. The height, let's make it 15 millimeters. OK. Let's apply a coincident relation between this point and this point. We need a second rectangle now. Let's apply coincident relations between this point and this point. And let's dimension our second rectangle. For this rectangle, we're going to use the list parameters. The bend relief width. The reason to use the bend relief width for this dimension is because we're going to fold the tab on this line. Because we're folding it on this line, as a result, Inventor is going to add bend reliefs. You'll see what I mean once the feature is finished. Let's click OK to accept this dimension. And let's add another dimension here. It'll be equal to this dimension. Let's activate the Line tool next. We need a vertical line here. Activate the Circle tool. And let's apply some dimensions. We'll give it a diameter of 5 millimeters. Let's add one more dimension. 10 millimeters. And click OK. Basically, what's going to happen here is this. We're going to see how we can keep a 10 millimeter distance between the center of the circle and this face. This distance will be controlled by this dimension. 10 millimeters. As well, we're going to keep a 10 millimeter distance between this face of the tab and this edge. It's controlled by this dimension. Lastly, here, to make these corners round, we can use a fillet or a corner round. Let's use a sketch fillet. We'll pull up the thickness parameter and we'll add a fillet here and here. For these corners, let's use the corner round. Close the fillet dialog window, finish the sketch. Now let's activate the cut tool. Let's change our view a little bit, take an isometric view, and pull up the cut tool again. Profiles to cut. We'll select this one, and this one, and click OK. Lastly here, let's activate the Corner Round tool. Radius will be 5 millimeters. Let's select this edge and this edge. Click OK. Let's add one more sketch here. We're going to use the Line tool. And we'll draw a line right here and exit the sketch. Now let's activate the Fold tool. That line will be our Fold line. Select our new line. Fold location will be start of the bend. Fold angle, let's leave it at 90 degrees and click OK. 
Now remember, we need a distance of 10 millimeters between this face and this face. We also need a 10 millimeter distance between this face and the center of the circle. Let's go to Tools and measure it. Distance. Click here and here. I've got a distance of 11 millimeters. Let's check out how we can fix this. Right click, make Sketch 2 visible, and let's edit this dimension. Instead of 10 millimeters, we're going to use minus list parameters, bend radius. Let's update the model and check it again. Select this face and this face, and our distance is now correct, 10 millimeters. Let's double click on fold 1, multiply the bend radius in the bend radius field by 2. Click OK. Let's check the distance again. Now I see a value of 11 millimeters. Back to the Manage tab, Parameters, and let's scroll down. Let's take a look at dimension D20, the bend radius multiplied by 2. If I mouse over it, I see that it's consumed by Fold 1. Sketch dimensions, we modified D3 right here. Now the bend radius. Let's replace it with D20. Click outside to register. We see an updated value of 8 millimeters. The reason for this is because we need to update our model. Let's go back to the Tools tab and measure this distance. And now we have the correct value displayed 10 millimeters. At this point, I want to figure out how I can place this hole at a distance of 10 millimeters from this face. You'll remember that the position of this hole is controlled by this dimension, currently 10 millimeters. And let's go to Parameters. I want to create a custom user parameter. Let's call it BA. I'm going to use a value in millimeters. And now let's enter a formula in the Equation column. You may remember this from our previous tutorial about bend allowance theory. The unfolded length of the bend region, open parenthesis. Now we enter the angle value, which is parameter 19, 90 degrees, divided by 180 degrees. Close the parenthesis. Multiply, that's an asterisk, open parenthesis, bend radius, which in this case we'll be using parameter D20 plus the value of the K factor, multiplied by the thickness. And let's list our parameters. Select thickness, close parenthesis. So far we've got the length of the unfolded bend regions. Let's click outside and there's our value. We need to subtract from here the bend radius, which for this example is parameter D20. Click outside to register and done. Now let's adjust the dimensions. 10 millimeters plus BA. OK. The second dimension, let's add the bend allowance to our existing value of 15 millimeters. Click OK. Let's update our model. Now let's go to the Tools tab and measure the distance. As you see, the correct distance now displays 10 millimeters. Now let's change the bend radius. Let's say we multiply it by 4. OK. And back to the Tools tab, let's again check both distances. 10 millimeters, that's the correct value. And this distance, also 10 millimeters, the correct value again. Let's go to the Manage tab, click on Styles Editor. I'd like to change the thickness of the material, default millimeters. Let's change the thickness to 1.5 millimeters. Save and done. Now let's check to see that we've got the correct value. This distance remains 10 millimeters. 
and this distance is also 10 millimeters. Looks good. Lastly, let's use the mirror command to place the second tab. First, let's create a work plane. Select this face and this face. Here is my work plane equidistant to these two faces. Activate the mirror tool now. The features to select. Let's select the cut, the corner round, and the fold. Now we need to select a mirror plane. Let's use our new work plane and click OK. Let's right click and hide work plane 1. And this concludes our tutorial about creating a tab.